Brother Aaron and Sister Miriam, welcome to Unitarian Anabaptist. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much, Brother, for inviting us in our oh, channel. It's a, it's a real pleasure. As I, I am privileged to have guests like yourself, this is particularly special, though, Christian brethren who were are from Pakistan, now living in England. So, Brother Aaron, could you introduce you and your wife to the audience, please? Okay. All right, brother. As you mentioned my name, my name is Harun, and you can say me in English, Aaron, and me and my wife, Maryam, uh, working in Pakistan since 2018. Uh -huh. And uh, as I grew up as a, you know, a Catholic background, as a Catholic, uh, but when I have started to read Bible and wanted to search more for my spiritual education, so I have joined, you know, a ministry uh, that is named uh, Abundantly. Okay. Its name is Abundant Ministry. Okay. So I, I got my education, uh, basic education of Bible from there. So as a pastor, I have ordained in 2018. Uh, you can say before a little three or four months ago uh, in 2018. So when I ordained, so always I when I read the Bible, so I actually could not satisfy myself when I was I, I was preaching in, into the town and when the Bible telling something else and I'm saying that the Jesus is God. <laughs> yeah. So okay. it was uh, it was quite difficult for me. Uh, if Bible is not telling this thing, so how can I tell this and impose this thing on, on the innocent hearts? So even I knew that when I'm a paid pastor and they all are the flocks of these churches, so of course, whatever I will say that, they of course, they will accept it and they will appreciate me. So I had talked with my bishops and uh, different priests and I told them it is quite difficult for me to join this ministry because uh, we had a lot of different conversation with them and that is a very long story like when we were discussing about but uh -huh. here i want to tell you uh, i just quit that ministry abundant ministry and i started my bible study more by myself so uh, as we were running a school holy spirit uh, it's a, I was running a business as well that was a Christian school, HS public school, from last six to seven years in Pakistan. The people already knew me. Okay. So, uh, so when uh, I, I got that truth that Jesus is not God. So I have discussed Maryam. I, I'm just quitting it, this ministry, because I cannot preach this, this thing. So even I told her when I will proclaim it, my family will, you know, disconnect with me and he will be no no more with us. Of course, they won't accept us because our whole, both, uh, our both family backgrounds are Catholics and pure Catholics, actually. Wow. We have a Catholic priest in our home. Yeah. So they won't accept us as a Unitarian. Of course, they first they will think that maybe they have accepted Islam. Oh, okay. Yeah, because then when you talk with a Trinitarian that you believe in one God, they don't think so. The Bible tells it. The first image and the first impact goes on them. It actually, they think so. Maybe some Molana or some, some Muslim, you know, scholar has convinced them. So that's why he is saying that the God is one. Okay. But, but my intentions were to make them clear. You see the Bible. I'm not getting this truth by reading of Quran and I, I just got that truth by reading the Bible. Uh -huh. Yeah, so wow. when we discussed, the, uh, so Maria, I told to Maria, Maria, every student of Catholic, you know, child will leave this school. They left our school because they think so, uh, they are giving a wrong education because, uh, you know, uh, people are very religiously in Pakistan. So uh -huh. uh, they already sent their, their children in my school because that school was a Christian school. Okay. So when they thought maybe he got Muslim, that's why he's saying that God is one. So uh, they take out their children from our schools. That was the first, you know, impact of this faith uh -huh. on my life. Okay. So it actually had an economic impact very, very early on. Our, our yeah. business was collapsed within, within months and we oh, were wow. on the road. 
Yeah. yeah. Because 85% was Catholic Christians in our school. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so so what what were the ones that were not Catholic Christians? Were they Lutheran no, or Muslim. something? Yeah, but you oh, know, they were, they with, were Muslim. With a 10% yeah. uh, student, you cannot run the big building. Okay. You cannot afford the expenditures of, you know, with the 10 students. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, so finally, I told to her, uh, now I, I'm quitting it. I'm not going to preach anyone. So she convinced me if God told you this, reveal this truth on you, you <laughs> should keep up. Wow. That's a good encouragement. Yeah. yeah because I think so. She is my partner and uh -huh. uh, I just want his will also, her will also, wow. because if she is willing, so she, then I can be more powerful to preach in people. If yes. I, I am, uh, you know, strong in my home with my okay, wife. Right, right. So yeah. when were you married? When were you married? What year were you married? We are to 2014. 2014. Okay. Yeah. So you were married already when, um, together when you were going to the seminary. Uh, how yeah. long did this, yeah. how long did the seminary last? Like it's a three years. I got that education, three years degree. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Well, that's a lot of time invested, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, a lot of time invested for a young man who's looking to advance his future, his career. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, oh, yeah. So there's there there's a huge cost involved for you yeah, to sure. come to this come to this understanding. Wow. And uh, okay, so once you were encouraged by your dear wife, your your helpmate that God gave you, what did you what did you do after that to to get started, get traction into this? Minister. Uh, yeah, first of all, uh, I, I just made, you know, flyers on, on a computer uh -huh. and I started it from my Facebook because I know that my old acquaintance in uh, Facebook acquaintance is full with the Christians. So first proclaimed right there. So people got me that, that he does not accept the Trinity. Okay. So people got that and they they started fighting on my Facebook and even my sister was called to my father. See how the people are getting against of Harun and they just wanted to kill him. They are showing some guns or these kind of things on a Facebook. They are oh, making yeah. dog flyers on, on her face. So these kind of things they started to make. And if you see my old post, so you will see that the threats, how people are giving me threats on, on a Facebook. Continuously abused. And I would like to add here that uh, Harun's elder brother is a Catholic priest. So he also came at home and he started, uh, you know, he created a lot of problem in our home that, you know, what would I tell people? Because my younger brother is going in that faith. So we had a lot of problem. Yeah. Okay, yes. so is your, is your brother, I'm sorry, is your brother older than you? This is an older brother. That's yes, priest. older brother and okay. even my uncle is also. Yeah, so we have wow. two priests in, in our family, Catholic priests. Okay. And, <laughs> okay. Well, what a what a lot of commotion, huh? <laughs> yeah, in Pakistan, actually, we have a quite famous background in a Christians. Uh, people know my father oh. and my family just because religiously, business or this kind of thing, they already knew us. So, uh, but you know, uh, when the religious point comes, so it turns down. So, if there is some you know conflictions about the religion or point, so people don't like. You know, so uh, anyways, but I have started my uh, mission and I, first of all, I discussed with my different fellows like brother Rafi. He, he was a, in a, in a pastor in, in a same ministry. So oh. he accepted the truth and brother Nathaniel, he was the same in this ministry. So oh. he, so he accepted the truth. truth. So, and, uh, Pastor Stephen, he was already in that ministry, so he left the ministry too when he got the truth. So he is in living in Peshawar, but uh, brother Dan, brother Nathaniel, got died. Uh, you know, two years ago he got died. Okay. So he was a he faced a lot of prosecution in in this town because of this faith. His family and he he and his family actually faced a lot of problems with due to this case. But mm -hmm. still, his family with us, and he's uh, doing park mass and, and prayers with us in the churches and getting more education. His children still getting education from us. And uh, then later on, I I just 
then after I thought maybe if I'm a mad, maybe some another mad will be too who thinks like same. I think so. So I started searching on a internet. Maybe then there will be more people like us. So then I got a very individuals in America or in a, you know UK. Okay. Or, but not a ministry. You yeah, not a ministry, ministry. But we have written. I have written emails to many ministry for my platform. And uh, after that, I got a uh, focus on, on the kingdom, brother Anthony Buzzard and sister Tracy. Okay. Feedback. So they responded us. And then later on, I got, I said that I want to know more about this faith. If you have some, you know, literature about it. Okay. So uh, they actually helped me a lot. Uh, brother Anthony's, uh, brother Anthony's book uh, actually very helpful for me because they had translated in Urdu. Oh, really? Yeah. Two books, yeah. yeah, two books, Who is Jesus and okay. What Happens When We Die. The two okay. books were in Urdu. So it now when I got that book and I read that book, so that was really very helpful for me. Uh -huh. And then I started sharing with people and they started to understand as well. Oh, wow. Okay. So, 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 so just to get the, get the uh, idea straight here, you started off to understanding that there's only one God and Jesus is his human Messiah. So this, this you were right. very sure about, but there I'm were, sure. a, there, there were a lot of other details that you just didn't piece into this understanding early on. Right. Okay. Wow. Oh, and uh, so you were going to tell me the verse that changed your mind about this, you know, this yeah. topic of, of God's identity. What verse was that brother? Aaron? Yeah. When, uh, of course, when you commit, when you commit yourself with a God, and after that you wish to go and share with the people. So when I was sharing the verses and telling about the eternal life and kingdom of God, uh -huh. so the people say that who tells us? We say that Jesus tells us in the scriptures. So when I was reading, and when disciples ask him, you just tell them when the day will come. Uh huh. So when Jesus said, no one knows about that hour and day, uh -huh. only God, okay. not even son. Okay. <laughs> so that was, I was saying, if Jesus is God, he can say that I will tell you later on. This is not the right time. <laughs> right. Right. But Jesus okay. only knew the signs and only God knows. So if God knows about the day of resurrection and that day and hour, uh -huh. So that means he kept his secret with himself. Yes, yes. So that point makes me to think maybe if Jesus is God, so this God is be more than him, who has main authorities. That the first verse, uh, because we were sharing about the kingdom of God, eternal life, and when this verse uh, came in my mind, and I just read that, so uh, I just started. To, to rethink about that we are not preaching the right thing okay yeah so there's something there's something here i i want to ask you though so at that time already did you understand that eternal life is resurrection from the dead was that something that are, was already the the concept that you had yeah uh, about the resurrection and about the eternal life and the kingdom of god even in the even in that you know you can say that it, it 12 or 15 years old child in Pakistan, if he's a Christian, he knows about it, about huh. resurrection and this. Okay. It's a basic education. Even, you know, a Catholics tell about the kingdom of God, but they, you know, just trick them. They just trick them. Uh, like they don't say that Jesus will come uh, 1000 years. He will reign and rule oh, for 1000 years. They just say after that, that Jesus will reign and everything. But if okay. we see the revelation, so you will see that Jesus will, uh, you know, rule over this kingdom for 1000 years. And after that, everything will be under the God. Uh -huh. And Jesus himself will be under the God. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the concept they of resurrection. Yeah. yeah. yeah just, uh, they tell them about the kingdom of God. They, they, every child know about the kingdom of God, but the Trinitarian trick them. They don't tell them. Uh, Jesus will, uh, you know, rule over for 1,000 years. They okay. from the situation. Well, I would say that 
I would say that the fact that they're talking about the resurrection is pretty important. I think that that's, that's actually very impressive because the understanding of Christianity in America is that we go to heaven when we die and there is, they don't really talk, they don't really emphasize resurrection. So maybe you had a huge advantage having that understanding that there is such a thing as resurrection. And, and of course, the fact that Jesus was raised from the dead right. makes sense in light of a future resurrection. Jesus is the first fruits of the dead, right? So the idea of Jesus as being... Yeah, the yeah, idea of Jesus uh, Jesus as being the first fruits from, uh, from the dead would fit into even the c Catholic teachings in Pakistan? Yes, it does. Yeah, um, do. the, wow. the, the children, are, even all the Catholics, they know about uh, resurrection, that how Jesus was raised and then he will come back again, you know, his second coming and we uh -huh. will, every dead will be raised with him. Wow. So people have this understanding. Um, the only thing is that they are not uh, they're not taught about is like Jesus is a human Messiah. Okay. So here the belief is that he is a hundred percent God and he is hundred percent man. This is okay. how they teach them, you know. Okay. So about resurrection, they do have a, a sense or a knowledge, but they okay. they are very strong uh, at Trinity as well. Like, like you can say. They, they teach them about the resurrection and the second coming of Jesus. But they, after that, they do not clear, clear them after Jesus, the God will be overall. Yeah, they don't uh -huh. tell like this way. Yeah, because uh, if they tell that the after after it, the God will be overall. So, of course, uh, the Trinity will be false then. <laughs> so, they, they actually have a pretty, they have a actually much weaker concept of Trinity than maybe Western countries would. No, they perhaps. do have. They have a very strong uh, teaching or understanding of Trinity as well. So the people are, are, are kind of confused about it. You oh, know? I imagine. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's like uh, telling people that, okay, this is a car, this is 100% blue, and this is 100% red, you know? So they yeah. create a kind of confusion with people. Uh -huh. So people don't understand actually, like how a how he is 100% God and how he is 100% yeah, man. Actually, uh, the one more reason that why they believe on Catholics much than us, the problem is that they say that, that they have, you know, uh, how can I say, they have a, a background from Peter to, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, oh okay. They have a say... great background story, you know, yeah. history. So they have a much knowledge than mm -hmm. us. But okay. I say that, uh, I think so, who has a Bible and who can read by himself, so who should they should read so then they will get the truth uh -huh, right so, uh, the unfortunate thing is in pakistan brother uh mostly are illiterate i was going to ask about that yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah uh, you can say that if in a church is a full of either 1000 people so uh, there hardly will be a 20 percent can read and write yeah 800 would be uh, who they are just listen they're just listen listeners. and accept yeah. It's, it, that's hard to imagine in this present day world, isn't it? That there could yeah, be so much yeah. illiteracy. It's yeah. because like the, you know, the old generation, they uh -huh. are not literate, but obviously the ones who are like, um, uh, you know, the, the youngsters now, they are educated. But still, I would uh, uh, put one thing here that, you know, uh, Christians are not uh, rich in Pakistan, only a few percent of people, but majority of them are uh, like, uh, they're very poor. Right, uh -huh. they are most of them are under poverty, okay. and still they are unable to send their children to school. You know, they, so they are that, or they are not. They, no, they, they, are, they are not. Yeah, they're, they're not, not going to school because they cannot um, afford the fees of the schools. Oh, so, so there's no public. Those, there's no even public the school. Catholic, even the convent school is quite expensive. Yeah. There. It's highly really? paid. You can, and, uh, highly <laughs> paid, and they're mostly students are Muslims yes. who can pay. Like a okay. journal, journals, uh, in a, like a 18 grade officers, uh, their children is are going into the convent school. That, but unfortunately, the Christians are not, cannot afford this. No. Wow. No. 
So there's no public <laughs> school system? Asking. Like there, there's no public school system in Pakistan? There, there are. There is a system. Uh, but public there are not schools. limited seats. There are very limited seats because mostly the, uh, the Muslims get that, but still they charge some there's, of the people. Uh, yeah. Actually, the population is very big and school, school is not right. and much. They also charge some of the fees. And the Christians, unfortunately, they're not even they're not even able to pay that little amount of fees as well. Oh, yeah. Yes. So are the are the children typically working at a very young age in these poor families? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, very yeah. hard. They are doing very hard work. They are cleaning. They are, you know, and you, they're working in a factories. And even it's uh, against the law. But still, what oh. can they do to they have live? To. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I would like to add here about our school that we are running. Um, we started that school in 2018. And the reason of starting that school was because when we got to know that people are illiterate and when we when we tell them and uh, we cannot witness that thing because they cannot read that by themselves, you know. OK, so that was the reason that we started that primary school, because we uh -huh. had that, uh, we thought that all the children who cannot go to the school only because uh, the parents cannot afford. So uh -huh. we started the school from uh, for them in 2018, and we have almost 40 children now with us. And since 2018, we are uh, giving them education, uh, both academic and, uh, you know, religious. So from the very beginning of their life, we are telling them about uh, God, you know, about okay. who is God and who is Messiah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, we are running that school for free of cost. We give them the books. We give, we give them the stationery. And they just come there. We have um, uh, we have a teacher over there. Before coming to England, I was teaching them actually. But when I came here, so we appointed uh, one of uh, a member of uh, you know our our faith. So wow. she took that uh, responsibility, and she is the one who is teaching them. Yeah. So every year we ask people to you know to to fund our school only because we can uh, buy the books for them. You know. Okay. So we don't wow. give them anything. It's they they just have to come. And I would uh, definitely add here: it's not only the Christians. We also welcome the Muslim students, you know, who cannot go to school. So even wow. we have some of the Muslims uh, also who come and take the academic, uh, you know, okay. Knowledge. And you know what? And when we teach them about the Bible, so they stay with us, you know. So maybe they are also getting that thing in their minds. <laughs> yeah. This so. is so incredible! Wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's, it raises so many questions that like, I mean, you're, you're young people, you're 34 and 33 years old. You've got yes. such a vision, so much ambition, it's such a zeal for the faith. It's just amazing. So that's, I think that's a difference when, when you come to know the truth, it's really exciting and you want to spread this, don't you? You want to, you want to share this truth. You want people to understand with right. their mind what the Bible is really saying. And that's so yeah. impressive. What an you interesting, know, yeah, what an yeah. interesting journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, when when uh, uh, Harun, he came in this faith, you know, as he told you that he told me that, you know, because we were in a very good situation, economically, we were very stable, you know. Yeah. And he told me that, see, if I accept this faith or if I start and go preach, you know, we will be in big problems, you know, because Satan will definitely not let us go and do this work. He will create a lot of hurdles. So it's up to you whether you want to stay with me or not, you know. <laughs> so I told him, you know, that I don't want you to stop this now because we are blessed that we have got that uh, faith now. Uh -huh. You know, at yes. this young age when people are totally in, in mass media, they want to do different videos, they want to just enjoy their life. And mm -hmm. if at this time, if we have got this faith, so obviously whatever the problems will come, I am with you. Wow. And that happened, you know, obviously uh, the school that just collapsed within two, uh, three to four months, we were in road and uh, the family left us, you know, we yeah. had to, we have, we had to leave our house and go to a different place. My own children, they couldn't go to school for almost two years because we couldn't afford anything. Their schooling, we had to struggle yeah. with the food, you know, with the basic wow. needs. And uh, but still, we committed ourselves with the faith. We stayed in that because we believe that God will answer us and He will hold us, and He did. Yeah, and now wow. we are in front of you. Uh -huh. So that's a testimony, definitely, of yeah, us. One, one more, you know, 
testimony like uh, you got a company who paid everything for yourself yeah and a... yeah exactly and when i got a job here because even before that we were struggling a lot with the finances and uh, because when uh, when harun started to preach so we we had a lot of problems you know people didn't allow he applied for almost four to five jobs you know but when he got to know about this uh, the people got to know about his faith so the muslim wanted to turn him to to muslimism right <laughs> and yeah. and the and the christians they didn't uh, give him a job so he lost five jobs you know so we were struggling for for our basic needs you know mm -hmm. and then uh, god's willing we i got a job here and they paid for everything they paid my tickets they paid my visa they paid everything my accommodation and i came here along with my family so that was a great blessing from god as yeah, well yeah it's yeah actually because it is a test a testimony too because when you work for god god works for you as well definitely so uh, because it was free of cost so even i couldn't imagine that yeah. so uh, yeah that was uh, that was a quite great help from god yeah. so let me just uh let me just ask if you have any closing thoughts before i i close this interview with you out so any okay. any word to the audience that you would like to to explain Uh, sorry, can you ask me again? Uh, just some closing thoughts. Some closing thoughts from you, brother Aaron. Yeah, yeah, brother. I, I, I really want to share my thought. First of all, I will say that except of listening others, why don't you read it by yourself? Okay, okay, very And good. And that circle, that circle made your pastor or your priest, so in in your surroundings. First of all, you need to get out of that circles you have drawn and just read the Bible by yourself. Okay. That question you wanted to ask me, you wanted to ask them, why don't you ask directly to the Jesus? He explained everything in the Bible. Okay. If you really believe in an eternal life, you must believe in a one true God and Messiah whom he sent. Okay. So Beautiful. that's my message. Otherwise, a lot of good things and good thoughts i can share but if for me there is not more more than if i say that the eternal life uh, for from it there's no more good thing than eternal life learn about the eternal life it prepares you for the eternal life and also try to try to give you a way how to survive in this world now okay get out of Beautiful this wickedness okay yeah. thank the lord and you brother aaron for sharing with us I think you Thank did you. a very good job for the first time. <laughs> so. Thank you very much. You okay. patiently listened to me. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure. This is so exciting for All me. All right, brother. Okay, Thank God bless you, you my brother. Me.